what's up youtube it's your girl shani and welcome back to the woman's palisade so um i was just sitting here thinking and god actually put into my mind like this um i just want you to think about like this yellow brick road and the fact that i'm not on camera is because i really want you to imagine this in your head while i speak so if you can close your eyes and just imagine this so down this yellow brick road i want you to imagine at the end it's the brightest light right and we starting like just think it's just a long it's a long walk okay and on this walk it's god's believers right and we're supposed to be walking towards the light right walking towards christ but on the side it's just this one strip but on the side are other people and these are the unbelievers, the darkness, or whatever the case may be, right? The devil will use people to basically get you so hooked on trying to be a good um, Christian or be a good person that you're wasting your time with somebody who don't want to be helped. I'm hoping that's making sense because the way he's putting it in my mind is like sometimes we can get caught off on the side of this road trying to help people not realizing God is calling you to walk. And he's bringing to my remembrance the um, scripture where it says, you know, um, what does it say? It says something to the point of, you know, let them see your light and glorify your uh father in heaven in other words your life should be a reflection of christ people should be able to look at you and see christ it doesn't necessarily say you have to prove your point or go and try to be you know try to be the savior and show people oh i'm like christ no your life should just be a representation of that your light shining should be a representation of that so you should be walking towards the light, walking towards whatever it is God have told you to do. And when God instructs you to stop, that's when you stop. And even on this road, you have to understand the enemy will even use believers to deceive you, to get you caught up, to stay stuck on this road on this um path of just talking to them or you know trying to lead you astray or come off the thing so we have to be mindful to understand that the enemy is cunning he is manipulative he is good at this he's been here since the beginning of time which means he knows how to deceive you in a way that you don't think you're being deceived and this is why your relationship with god is very important you have to be able to con continue to ask God for discernment, to can continue to be able to be strengthened because the enemy is deceiving people. He can, some yes, people can be saved, but they can still deceive you because not everybody is walking on the same path. Not everybody is called to the same thing God is calling you to do. So he can get you caught up. And I was actually listening to Pastor Kevin E. Ewing, and he was talking about how um, with, uh, People believe that, oh, just because, you know, you're saved and I'm saved, we can get married. You know, we're not unequally yoked. But when you sit there and you think about it, God says he had plans before. I mean, he has plans for you before the foundation of the world. And if he had plans for you, you don't think he chose out your spouse. I believe everybody has God has assigned everybody a spouse because if you're a woman, you're you're some man's rib. And if you're a man, somebody is your rib, which means you have a person that is your help meet, somebody that is designed to help you for what God created you for. But if you just get caught up on I'm saved and you're saved, we can be together. That's not the only requirement. I just want you to understand at the end of the day, a believer or not. A person that is believing in God has put them in a functioning of being a leg is not going to understand what God called the person to do with the arm. It's going to be two different journeys. And I always say your relationship with God is your relationship with God. So because of how God designed you, he may speak to you or do whatever it he Whatever it is he do with you because he created you and he knows you can handle this, he may not do it for that person. But the fact that he don't do it for that person, that person thinks, oh, you got a devil, you got this, you got that. And they just don't understand it. So with the misunderstanding, we have to understand that even being believers, we're not going to agree on everything because we're all walking a different walk. And when you understand this, 
it will be able to help you to understand that just because you're both believers doesn't mean you're walking the same way. You're walking the same path. And that doesn't mean that they don't know God or you don't know God. But in that saying, the enemy uses that strife or that disagreement in the mix of that to get you to lead off the straight, get you to get off this path. So I'm saying all this because I want you to understand on this road, it's going to be a lot of distractions and we have to understand God is not calling us to everything in every body. We cannot get caught up on the distractions or this person seemed like they want help. So I want to help them. Did God call you to help them? Because we have to be mindful of the things that we're indulging in, the things that we are choosing to spend our time in. Did God call you to that? It's not to say diss them and don't care for them, but you have to get to a point where you're choosing God's will over what other people want you to do. You cannot waste your time on the sidelines of this road when God is calling you to move forward. If he's calling you to move forward, just live, do what it is that he's calling you to do and allow your light to shine. One thing I was realizing what God is telling me, you don't know the impact you have on people by just living your life, letting your light shine. Is what I mean by living your life, living in righteousness, being in right standing with God, letting your light shine. So you will have more impact on people by letting your light shine and instead of trying to help people. Because some people don't want help and we have to be able to swallow that pill and understand that and stop trying to break our back, trying to be a good Christian, so to say, when God is not calling you to that. Because now you're being disobedient to God and God is like, I never told you to do that. I told you to walk your path out when I tell you to stop. And this is why it's this is why it's important to have a relationship. It's important to have discernment, to know when God is speaking, what thought is God and what is not of God. Because if God tells you to stop, that's when you stop. OK, help this person. But did he tell you to or is that the enemy trying to distract you? Because there's many distractions on this road. So I just wanted to bring that to get you guys to think about. Understand that unbelievers can deceive you and believers can deceive you. This is why your relationship with God is important. Be connected to the source and make sure you have discernment in this end time. So go out and be a light in this dark world.